2017 Acura MDX SH Odd. Grills just want to have fun. Highs and lows. Highs. Athletic handling, strong V6, decent value. Lows. Questionable nose job, less than posh interior, frustrating screens. Specifications. Vehicle type. Front engine, all-wheel drive, 7-passenger, 4-door hatchback. Price as tested. $59,340, base price, $46,890. Engine type. So C24 valve V6, aluminum block and heads, direct fuel injection. Displacement. 212 cu in 3471 cubic centimeters power 290 hp at 6200 rpm torque 267 lbft at 4700 rpm transmission 9 speed automatic with manual shifting mode dimensions wheelbase 111.0 in length 196.2 in width 77.2 in height 67.4 in passenger volume 133 cu ford cargo volume 15 cu ford curb weight 4222 pounds c slash d test results 0 to 60 miles per hour, 6.0 SEC. 0 to 100 miles per hour, 16.5 SEC. 0 to 110 miles per hour, 20.9 SEC. Rolling start, 5 to 60 miles per hour, 6.4 SEC. Top gear, 30 to 50 miles per hour, 3.6 SEC. Top gear, 50 to 70 miles per hour, 4.7 SEC. Standing 1 fourth mile, 14.7 SEC at 95 miles per hour. Top speed, Governor Limited 113 miles per hour. Braking, 70 to 0 miles per hour, 188 feet. Road holding, 300 foot skid pad asterisk, 0.83 grams. Fuel economy. EPA combined slash city slash highway driving, 22 slash 19 slash 26 MPG. C slash D observed 75 MPH highway driving, 28 MPG. C slash D observed highway range, 540 miles. Asterisk stability control inhibited. Just like that one friend on Facebook who keeps shuffling through myriad profile pictures, luxury car companies are always introducing new front grills. Acura, a brand that struggles with identity issues, is the latest to do so, just as we were starting to get used to its previous design, an inelegant shield most commonly referred to as a beak. The three-row MDX crossover is the first recipient of Acura's new, so-called Diamond Pentagon grill part of a mid-cycle refresh for 2017. Will the nose job help give Acura more character? We're not so sure, the new front end looks cleaner and less bizarre, sure, but it's also slightly cartoonish and less distinctive than the beak, for whatever that's worth. Final judgment will have to wait until the diamond pentagon face makes its way onto other Acuras within the next few years. Other than the new schnoz, not much else changes for the most popular Acura, and that's a good thing. The MDX remains one of the most entertaining three-row luxury crossovers to drive, which might sound like saying that Kim is the most intellectually stimulating of the Kardashians. But Acura's sophisticated super-handling all-wheel drive system, SH Odd, which incorporates a torque-vectoring rear differential, imbues the MDX with surprising athleticism. Push it into a corner hard and stand on the throttle, and the differential goes to work apportioning torque to the outside rear wheel, quelling understeer, and motoring you on your way with little drama. 
The MDX's accurate steering rack and well-damped suspension also contribute to its dynamic poise. The ride is satisfyingly firm but not harsh, and overall responses are deft. Bantamweight Competitor The Acura's curb weight of 4,222 pounds also deserves plenty of credit for its lively performance. It's several hundred pounds lighter than its closest three-row competitor, the Infiniti QX60, which goes some way toward explaining how the 290 HP MDX nips the 295 HP Infiniti by more than a second in 0 to 60 mph acceleration. The MDX's sprint of 6.0 seconds and its 14.7 second quarter mile time are nearly quick enough to keep up with a field of more powerful and significantly more expensive three-row luxury subs we tested recently, including the Volvo XC90, BMW X5, and Audi Q7. The 9-speed automatic added for 2016 also helps acceleration and fuel economy. The MDX is rated at 26 mpg highway but we saw 28 mpg during our real-world test run at a steady 75 mph but brings with it some quirks. It is frequently reluctant to downshift, has a console-mounted push-button shifter that takes some getting used to, and, on advanced models, includes a clunky engine stop slash start system that's not particularly smooth. Where the Acura can't measure up to more prestigious crossovers is on the inside. Although touches such as open pour wood and contrasting piping for the leather seats are welcome, the MDX simply doesn't feel as special as the plush Audi or the gorgeously trimmed Volvo. Fit and finish is good but the MDX's dashboard has a mostly plain design and uses plenty of utilitarian-looking materials. The dual-screen setup for controlling the radio, navigation, and climate settings is dated at best and infuriating at worst. Tasks that should be simple, such as turning on the heated seats or changing radio stations, require using the lower touch screen, which has a complex menu structure and is slow to respond to inputs. We hope Acura's new infotainment system will be much better. Passengers will be happier in back, where they'll find a comfortable second row bench seat. Captain's chairs also are available, with its own easy to use, button operated climate controls. The third row is predictably cramped, but at least the second row slides forward to give kiddos back there a bit more room. MDX in the middle. It may be a bit unfair to compare the MDX's interior with those of posh European competitors, since the Acura does cost quite a bit less than the Audi and the Volvo. Our fully loaded MDX SH Aud Advance model rang up a bill of $59,340, a significant sum to be sure but considerably less expensive than versions of the Q7 and the XC90, which can easily push past $70,000. Choose fewer option packages and the MDX can be had for less than $50,000, at which point the Acura starts to look like even more of a bargain among its peers. The MDX, like Acura as a whole, continues to occupy a sort of middle ground, a bit below true luxury but certainly above mainstream brands. It also remains competent, practical, and surprisingly lithe for a seven-passenger crossover, all attributes that make it a smart buy for well-heeled families. Although the MDX's interior is showing its age, Acura hasn't messed with success, whatever you think of the nose job.